Hi everyone, it's week nine. So we've got um, just a few weeks really left in the course, about a month, uh, and we've got quite a few things to still complete. So I hope you're still motivated and um, ready to get stuck into these last few tasks. So I'm imagining that this week your main priority is going to be finishing off your annotated bibliography because that is due for submission on Friday, by the end of Friday. Um, if you're still working through that, you won't find any resources for the annotated bibliography in the week 9 topic. They're all sitting in the preceding topic in week 8. So if you need to go over anything, if you're not sure about a few things, look back over all those resources that are there. And if you still have questions, then make sure that you get in contact with me if you're a distance student. Um, or talk to your campus lecturer for inter internal students. So as you'll see, if you read the submission guidelines, and I hope that you are reading the submission guidelines, they're a link in this week's topic, you need to submit this assignment, the annotated bibliography, online, just like you did for assignment one. So you'll go this time to the link to assessment three in the assessment block on this page, and follow the prompts to submit your final file. Um, if you're having any difficulties with that, please make sure that you get in contact with us also so we can help you through it. But everyone managed that successfully for assignment one, so I'm really confident that you'll manage it again for assignment three. Now the other thing that you will be doing this week is continuing to work on your research essay as you work through the study guide. So I've indicated here this week that to stay on track um, to get this completed by the um, deadline, you need to have completed up to activity 4-5 in the study guide. Now, of course, that doesn't mean that you can't work further ahead than that and the rest of the instructions are in the weeks 10, 11 and 12 weekly topics. Um, so if you have time, it's really good to um, get some extra work done just in case um, things pop up in those last few weeks. Um, the other thing I would say about the research essay assessment is to make sure that you're very clear about which of the Let's Go activities that are in Module 4 are ones that you will submit as part of that assignment and which ones aren't. So you need to be compiling already the ones that are for submission and I've indicated which ones they are both on the assessment sheet and in my weekly instructions. Um, so you don't want to be in a mad rush at the end wondering which ones you need to um, put together to submit with your research essay. So questions about that, please do go to the discussion forum and ask a question. Email me if you're a distance student or um, talk to us either on the phone or talk to your campus lecturer about that also. Um, two other things you can do this week. Um, there is a spelling challenge sitting there waiting for you. So if you have a spare five minutes with nothing to do, perhaps you'd like to do that. Um, that will be the second last one. The last one will be next week. And I have got some prompts there from, for some reflective writing. So your very final piece of assessment that you complete after you do the research essay is a reflective piece of writing. Um, that's not a huge task, but it is good to be preparing for that by still doing some reflective writing every week, whether it's in your learning journal or just... Um, you're keeping it all together in one place. So those are the things that you should be thinking about this week. And um, as always, any questions at all, make sure you contact us. And I wish all the best for week nine.